Max, where you've, you've done a lot of work, and you, you also, you have a family member who was af affected by this type of disease, right? You, you did a documentary, what was it called? Br the, yeah, the title is Breadhead. It's a documentary in production right now. Breadhead. So it talks about how sugar, we, I was curious about sugar and if, how that affects you. Is that something that... Yeah, that sugar is one of the, especially added sugar, but in general, sugar and highly refined carbohydrates are one of the biggest villains uh, to your brain health and brain function. So uh, the goal that I'm, that I'm seeking with my documentary is to really get people to re-examine foods that we typically think of as nourishing and really you know, make an effort to select foods that, that you know, help and bolster our cognitive health rather than fight it or maybe play more benign roles. You know what's funny? I was watching this HBO documentary, and this is kind of weird. They had two beagles, same age, same everything. And they said they fed one of those beagles an antioxidant, a high antioxidant diet for three straight years. He ate the same meal twice a day for three years. And the other dog just ate whatever dogs eat. Okay, they brought them back three years, three years later, and one of the dogs played like a puppy and also like was finding things. The other dog was like slugging around. I mean, it, it seemed like it was one of those things that you look at and you go, food, that's a huge part. Yeah, and, and the key with that study actually, Carl Kottman did that study, and it was the biological principle of synergy. One plus one equals three. When you do the exercise plus the diet plus stress reduction plus everything, there's a synergistic effect.